all right what is going on welcome to the channel all right quick drive christmas drive for everyone here today check this out we are at the supercharger here in gaithersburg maryland and off we go we've got it in santa mode of course it is so we've got a challenging exit over here i don't know if fsd can handle this uh oh and it it can actually i didn't have to take over thankfully all right here we go so we are looking to get back up on the highway from the park position and trying to get um you know to my destination of course without any takeovers and here we go starting off with the wrong turn fsd decides to go around and almost had to do a takeover there Let's see if it can figure this out oh, man I don't know if it's gonna be able to figure this out because of this truck that's in the way up here. So we're gonna go ahead and do a slight takeover. It was gonna go into the area that's blocked off over there because this truck is refueling. So I'm gonna have to actually go around it. So no park to park today. Let's see if we can figure it out from this position here. So. We just got us a nice charge up uh, here at the Gaithersburg location. And that's my first time ever. It's at a Royal Farms where the gas is 275 and the supercharging is like 45 cents. You know, what if gas was 45 cents a gallon? That'd be kind of interesting. So we are on our way to go see some family here in Arlington. So stopping by the supercharger and uh, of course I had to stop and uh, play um, beach buggy while I was charging and uh, I placed number four I think at the supercharger location which I have pretty much uh, I played at every single one that I've stopped at since it became a thing um, and if you don't do that make sure when you, whenever you stop at superchargers pull out that Jawa controller I'll link it below um, and uh, it's so cool you know you can um, they have different levels for different superchargers so every charger you go to it'll be a different level but every time you go back to that charger it'll be that same level dedicated to that location and then you know you just try to get your best time on it it's pretty cool and I just man I could have placed number two actually but it was a difference of one second to be second place or fourth place and I got ranked fourth place and if I had just gotten one second better I would have ranked second place with like a minute 31 and I had a minute 32 number one was at a minute 28 so they had a nice lead right there all right so this is the part here we're officially getting back onto the highway Notice we are in Santa mode, which means all of the cars are elves. The car is telling me to pay attention already, which, yeah, got to do that, especially on the highway. And uh, look at how they uh, redesigned uh, FSD visualization for Christmas. Very cool. They've got all the cars as elves, reindeers. I'm sorry, as reindeers and the people as elves. If you see, like, someone walking by, they show up as an elf and the cars are actual reindeer so you know tesla is officially the best thing to happen to christmas since hot chocolate so you know santa the sleigh is obviously a tesla you know there it goes again it's it's obvious you know like the way tesla harped on christmas marketing they did it better they did it the best since coca-cola if you ask me i mean it's like one of those things that's just synonymous with christmas now is tesla and their holiday update and they did a really good job with getting the excitement levels out look we got three teslas in a row and uh yeah it's really interesting you know the way that they kind of feed you features that you never knew that you wanted or needed and uh they just keep coming in you know, it makes you think back to like the early cell phone days where you just thought that this was the best that it could get and then they just keep making it better. But then again, it goes back to that, you know, theory where you just don't, at like a marketing perspective, give the customer everything all at once because then what are you gonna release next year? 
But with Tesla, it's a little bit different because the world has never seen it. You know, when it comes to iPhone and Android and Samsung, like they're very, like always trying to put out the latest technology even before it works, you know? So like humans are aware that this stuff exists and then Apple comes around and perfects it years later. So by that point, you know, it's like mainstream, the technology and what it can do, like wireless charging and whatever, you know, the case is like as time, you know, went on, the cell phones just became more and more powerful. The same thing goes for cars too. So, you know, when I was a kid, like I never thought that I would be like waiting for the new camera to come out in the car for me to upgrade. You know, it was more or less like if the car breaks down, that's your time to get a new car. You know, and with my intentions of buying this car, I didn't even think about like, oh, when Tesla releases new cameras, then I'm gonna wanna get a new car. Like, you know, that's the thought process with cell phones. Yes, I understand that. You know, you got like 50 megapixel cameras out now on Androids and iPhones, but we had a one megapixel camera on Hardware 3. One megapixel. That's like a selfie cam from an iPhone 4, okay? And like, that has been what's been driving me on every single video in my channel for the last three plus years on my fourth year now so you know it just didn't really occur to me how important this 5x uh, 500 percent you know increase on one megapixel to five megapixels would make such a difference right uh, but stay tuned we do have a big Christmas uh, announcement with version 13 Everyone got FSD trials that have hardware 4, so hopefully that's going to be trickling down to hardware 3 very soon. Uh, but until then, stay tuned. I got a, a version 13 coming out uh, video. My coworker just received it, sent me the message this morning. It's installed on his car, so once we get back to work, I'm going to definitely uh, sneak out uh, some videos during uh, you know work hours, probably on my lunch break. I'm going to ask him, hey, let me take your car out to lunch and uh, probably take my GoPro into his car. And uh, yeah, so I just want to test out version 13. So stay tuned. Version 13 videos are on the way. And uh, I promise to be giving you guys a full depth, in-depth review on that. First impressions, everything, because I really can't wait to get over that hump myself. I personally, I really need to see what Hardware 4 is all about. You know, we've had the camera capability for so long, but they emulated it into um, a dumbed down version that meets the requirements of Hardware 3. But now, 18 months have passed, you know, and it's time that um, Hardware 4 finally unleashes and sees the true potential of what it's capable of. So stay tuned for that we, we are definitely very excited to test that and not only test it we're going to be bringing that to you guys here live as soon as possible uh, so stay tuned probably before new year's you will see that upload from me and uh yeah overall i want to wish everyone a wonderful 2025 coming up hope you guys had an awesome holiday season this year Shout out to Tesla and the Autopilot team. Once again, please go ahead and send out updates to Hardware 3 customers as soon as possible. And uh, we really appreciate that. And, um, you know, I think it's time. You know, it's where we are now in, in the future, guys. It's 2025 and it's time for Hardware 3 to uh, be RoboTaxi capable just like Lars and Franz and all those guys at Tesla have been talking about a show. They, they confirmed. I saw this video. Shout out to Kim Java. She posted saying that, hey, I've got a 20, I think she said 2018 or 2019 Tesla Model 3 with hardware 3. When, when RoboTaxi goes live, will I be, you know, will my car be available to use it? And he said not to be worried about a thing. And, uh, yeah, and then Elon even said free upgrades to Hardware 4 if for some reason Hardware 3 can't achieve it. So rest assured, you know, sleep tight this New Year's going into the new year that uh, your Hardware 3 car should be all good to go. I mean, notice 
in this video we did have that one takeover in the parking lot but other than that there has been zero takeovers and um, now I'm getting takeover by all these cars so I'm going to speed up a little bit and I want to thank everyone for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it super fun one to shoot thanks again subscribe for more hit that like button if you did enjoy and have a great rest of your day